That was a great intro. Thank you. So hi, I'm James. Uh, I founded a company, Food Orbit. Um, we are a technology company disrupting the farming and food industry. So we're an online platform connecting, uh, sorry, enabling wholesale buyers of food, such as chefs and restaurateurs, to connect and trade with local farmers and producers all online. So just to give you a bit of background, usually farmers, they don't really have many options. Supermarkets and wholesalers really dominate the market for them. This is a picture of Flemington's where a lot of produce for the Sydney restaurants is actually transacted and traded through. For the farmer, it's a difficult situation. If they want to go direct to consumers, they end up going to farmer's markets. For these guys as well, it's a really inefficient and unreliable customer base and obviously very dependent on the weather if anyone's been to a farmer's market in the rain. Now, they're not great at marketing and they're not great at sales. So we designed this platform to really help them out with this. These are some images here of some fruit that was rotting on hectares of land out in rural New South Wales, where these farmers felt that it was actually cheaper to let the food rot than it was to pay someone to actually pick and sell down at the markets. These inefficiencies are seen throughout the whole of our food system. So we created Food Orbit. We're all about cutting out the middleman, shortening the supply chain, and making those connections happen. Technology is obviously the enabler we're using to take things back to how things used to be, but with the modern day expectations of what we all do using our, our iPads and our, our, our iPhones and our, our computers. Um, you know, I've got various images throughout this presentation which really show the true heart and soul that goes into the food that everyone here eats when you're buying food in a, in a shop or whether you're buying food in a restaurant. Food at the minute is just thought of as, as very much a commodity. What we're all about is, is bringing that real back to you know, understanding what goes into, into the product and where it comes from. Here's a bit of uh, an example of some of the customers we've got on board already who are using our platform. Um, you know, we've been able to make these relationships happen with some of these restaurants. And now these guys can feature on their menu farmers and name them by their first name, their last name, and understand the story and pass that on to consumers. You know, this is another example of where we've made some new relationships between a chef and a farmer. Um, technology is really that enabler to make that happen. Currently, when people use wholesalers, it's just they phone somebody up, they don't really know where it's from, what it's, you know, anything about the product. And then they serve that into a restaurant. Go back 20 years and you walk into a restaurant and you say to a chef, where's my food come from? They actually know. And that wasn't because it was a cool thing to do, like it's becoming a little bit these days. It was actually just because of necessity. When people talk about sustainability, if you go to poorer areas, you'll find that sustainability is part of the ecosystem, not because it's a cool thing to do, but because that's just the way that things need to be done from an affordability point of view. Here's a great farm up in the Hawkesbury, it's 62 k's away, a brilliant free-range pig farm, Matt and Sue Simmons. The stories that I've learned along my journey, coming from working in a corporate office and then actually uh, having the ability to quit that job and start something and follow my passion, uh, which, if you haven't guessed already, is in food. Um, you know, I came from a background where I called up Gordon Ramsay when I was living back in London, and I said, hey, I love food. I really want to learn a, a bit more about it, and uh, ended up working in his, in his kitchens at weekends and evenings just to really learn about the importance and provenance of food. And since I've been in Australia, I've been blown away by, by the products that every, everyone here has access to, although it is incredibly hard to, to find. These are some great farmers near Yass who, who have some amazing beef cattle, but they sell it to agents that get sold to wholesalers and then get sold on again. So when me and you and everyone else is eating their amazing product in a restaurant, it's nothing more than a slab of meat on a plate. What we're trying to do is really bring that story back to life and put it on the plate so everyone can actually enjoy and understand where it's all come from. It always amazes me when you Look at the food system across the whole world. There's a billion people starving and there's a billion people obese. There's something seriously wrong with that equation. This is an example of when I went out with Oz Harvest. I don't know if you know them, but they collect a lot of food from restaurants and other, uh, other food suppliers. And I was eating all of this food. I don't know what you think, but it all looks really, really good. Um, that stuff was going in the bin unless uh, Oz Harvest was there to actually do anything about it. There's, there's quotes out there that say that we need to increase production by 50% in the next 10 to 20 years. 
But given that we're throwing away about 30 to 40% of the food that's being produced, it's another equation that doesn't really work with me. So we're all about really connecting these chefs. And this is an example of uh, uh, Barrel, uh, down in Barrel, or Biota, a great restaurant down there, where they've actually started to do farmer's markets in the restaurants as well on, uh, on weekends once a month. And it's incredible to see the passion that exists in these chefs. And on my journey of building this business, we've actually encouraged people and taken them on that journey from just being a chef who cooks and gets produce to really wanting to know where their food comes from and then share that story with the consumers as well. That's a, a great picture there. People think that farmers aren't really very technically savvy. Uh, believe it or not, they've probably got more apps on their iPhone than most of uh, us lot here, in, here today. This was a great image of you know, the local food movement really making a presence in the TEDx uh, Sydney event that was held at the Opera House earlier in the year. That's actually me sitting there on stage doing a little interview, which was great. And we're trying to get involved this year with supplying all the food direct from farmers for, for everyone to be eating. After we spoke there, we got involved with organizing all the food. And that's actually a planter box that we designed with the chef for Sydney TEDx Macquarie University. All of that is edible. The whole uh, base of it was actually soil made out of red and uh, black organic quinoa. Um, it was amazing to see people digging into what looked like a garden, but it was all actually food. So I'm really just going to leave you with the message that's up on the screen. Um, yeah, keep your friends close and your farmers closer. Um, join me in supporting our rock star farmers because they're, they're the future of everything. Thank you.